Hi, I just want to talk to you briefly about how you can use cold and heat to help with recovery if you twinge yourself, particularly the lower back. So if you have, for example, gone down to the dishwasher and something goes and you feel in quite a good degree of pain, the best thing to use is a cold pack. Applied as quickly as you can. Firstly, try and get into a comfortable position, which might be seated or perhaps lying down, but try and get into a comfortable position. Then wrap capes or a purpose cold pack in a tea towel so you don't get skin burn. And then apply it directly to the painful area. And leave it on, for example, with the lower back for about 10 minutes. Then let it warm up a little bit for another hour, hour and a half, up to two. And then do the same again for about another 10 minutes. And you can repeat that three, four times during the day. It's almost as if you're trying to make the back forget that it actually hurt itself. Because the chances are it's no big injury. It's just a functional problem where your back has always panicked. So you're calming it down, a bit like a, a bucket of cold water over an argument. Stops everything and then things can calm down. If the pain is perhaps not quite as acute, it's more of a, a little bit of an ache, and perhaps you've had it for a while, that's where something called contrast bathing can come in useful. You still use cold, but you combine it with heat. So what you would do is perhaps do five minutes of cold onto the lower back. Then with a, a hot water bottle or uh, a purpose uh, microwave, heaty weety. This is actually, um, these are actually cherry stones which last a bit longer warmth wise. Again, you would start with the cold, five minutes, then do five minutes of warm, warm stroke hot, then again cold, and then warm. And you can repeat that again three, four times during the day with a couple of hours in between. In that way you just help to reduce the inflammation slightly but then you bring in some fresh blood. So that's when it's not quite so painful. When it is going back to the one where it is a bit more painful and you, you twinged your back, you can still use heat, but you don't use the heat directly on the painful area. What you would do is perhaps in between, when you're on the pause period, between the cold pack and the next cold pack a couple of hours later, you could use some heat just below, for example, on the buttock area or on the upper lower back mid-back area, just to help relax those muscles below and above, which may well have contributed to causing the issue in the first place. So I hope that's been helpful. Please do email us, contact us if you'd like any further information. And of course, pop and see your local osteopath if you need some help. Bye for now.